Yo guys, I want to give a quick shout out to our Bajira official merchandise page on Design by Humans. We've been adding a bunch of new stuff to it, and I think some of the new designs and some of the new styles are pretty awesome. Some funny ones too. Uh, definitely encourage you guys to take a moment and check this out if you haven't already. Design by Humans often runs lots of seasonal sales, and I know you can get 15% off right now on there, so if you're looking to pick up some games and gains or Bajira's Army merch, definitely be sure to head over to our link in the description. Check that out and show some love. Thanks, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? Bajira here. Now, last time I posted a gym video on this main channel, I mentioned that we have our Bajira Gains channel as well, and I've seen a lot of people going over and checking that out. So thank you so much. If you guys enjoy the fitness-focused content, make sure that you guys subscribe over to the Bajira Gains channel. The link will be in the description for that. But since I'm making a, a training vlog-style video, I thought I would like to post this uh, on the main channel once again, just because I enjoy doing that, and I feel like these training vlogs are kind of almost just a bit of a check-in on how we're doing in general, because that is kind of how I use my training, right? I use my training as a sort of litmus test to see what's up, see what's going on, and kind of have the training be something that's consistent and hopefully progressive, pretty much no matter what we've got going on IRL. So that's what we're doing here. So today is a bench day that we've got recorded for you guys, and I want to give you just a teeny little bit of a spoiler alert here. Um, it's not going to be shown in this video because I recorded this a couple, like a session or two ago, I think. Um, but we're just coming off of me hitting a 305 bench press, which was real, real smooth. Um, that felt really, really good. So I think we've been doing hypertrophy for a long time. And we've been building up the strength a little bit, building up the body weight a little bit. I'm probably weighing about <clears throat> about 217 right now. Um, and I think it's probably like just about the best 217 that I've been in terms of body composition. I don't think my strength is the best it's ever been. But um, I think what we can do now is start working towards a little bit more of a strength focus, which is something that is good to do during a bulk and is fun for me to do during a bulk. And it comes at a, at a sort of interesting time because there is a Twitch Rivals hosted by Tyler1 powerlifting competition. And now I know for certain that I have not been training for strength. My lifts are definitely nothing remotely competitive in a sort of powerlifting environment. Um, but I think it would be kind of fun to do that. So it comes at, a, like I said, an interesting time where a little bit of a focus on strength building would be great. And this kind of helps me sort of mentally be excited for switching gears for that because we have like a, a little a bit of an event now realistically I only have about like what three weeks to kind of prepare for this so I don't think I'm gonna take my strength anywhere impressive during that time but it does kind of give me that little bit of an incentive to be like okay yeah I see this makes sense to switch over to a little bit more strength focus now I'm not gonna entirely go from bodybuilding to powerlifting it's just I think that we've almost been exclusively focusing on hypertrophy in terms of my exercise selection which has been fine but i think now is a bit of a time to, to say okay let's get back to some of these movements that i really haven't even been doing at all like i haven't been doing deadlifts i haven't been doing any sort of barbell squatting and a lot of the reason for that is just to let my my lower back be happy and not be hurting but i think one of the issues that i've run into is that avoiding movements that put pressure on my lower back does keep my lower back from getting hurt sort of but it also makes my lower back kind of weak. So I think that's like a big limiting factor in terms of a lot of those lifts is that my legs are strong enough, my back is strong enough. I think I've gained muscle and strength in those areas, but um, there's just, I'm just weak. Because if you lose that sort of power transfer between your lower body and your upper body, because your lower back isn't really strong, it's just, <laughs> it's, just it's no good. So I think I am gonna sort of start to transition into a little bit more of a power uh, style phase so it might be a little bit uh, higher weight maybe a little bit less volume on the way up at least still probably gonna get some good working volume in maybe even a little bit less working volume on the sets too just to try to have some fun and I will say that um, I did like my first deadlift workout in like probably two years I'll be putting that one on the gains channel here pretty soon um, and I really didn't go very heavy just just had to take it easy but my back I was feeling my back for like you know like a week after that, not in a bad way, but in a good way, like my upper back. So I think my body is going to really enjoy doing deadlifts again. So I'm looking forward to that. So we brought Jenny in here. I know I'm not talking about this workout at all, but we're just kind of slamming weights. Warmed up to some, I think five, was it like something like five by five maybe of 250? 
which is not too shabby. I want to say it was five, but I mean, it might have been doing more than that. It might have been like six. I'm not sure. We can You can watch the video, I guess. But then we were hitting uh, 285 for sets of four, which is pretty cool. Moving some weight around. Got Jenny in there spotting me, and we need that spot. Spoiler alert on this uh, last set. I needed that spot on the very last rep. And you'll notice, you guys can make fun of me if you want to, but you'll notice I've got this. Uh, so Gymshark, we worked with them on a, some promotional work, and they sent me a bunch of clothes. And they also sent me this little like squat pad. You see the thing I have in the bar? I don't use the the I don't use it for squats, but it makes bench pressing so much fun. <laughs> it probably makes the it probably makes the bench press a little bit easier because you can kind of bounce the the weight off your chest a little bit more. But I feel like it, let, it lets me kind of like I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. Like gather the weight. And like let it sit on you for a second and then blast Boy. but hold on a second look i gotta show you guys what archer does when he comes in the gym with me he is so funny he loves to come in here and lift so we got him some little little baby yes, dumbbells <laughs> and, then he, and then he's got this big dumbbell he's been doing this for Ever. I'm going to hey, it's he, he's like to bust out squats out, for yeah. a long time. He likes to pick up the barbell too, his little barbell. He does his little, I call him archer squats. He just kind of hip hinges with the bar. Like right in his hip. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. And then he puts the weight down. Woo! Boom! Two. Yes. Woo! Oh yeah. Set. Archer is such a cool little guy. That's helpful though. I'm not just sitting your boy. Mm. Probably one of the most a, effective safe supplements there is. And it's really inexpensive, so he's a well. big dude too. So Archer mm. turns two in about two months. High five. High five. Yes! <laughs> and he's already like mm. three look feet look tall. Look at the neck veins coming out when he lifts. Mm. He'll be a big boy. Perkins. He is working. Yes, sir. Good job, Archer. He's very curious. Way to work, boy. And sweet. Woo! And chatty. He really picks up on a lot of yeah. things that we say and do. It's just not uncommon for little ones, but he's pretty sharp. Woo! Woo! High five. Woo! High five. High five. Yeah. <laughs> He does this voice for me. That easy. He's in rhythm now. He does like a little gravelly voice when he's like saying stuff that I say. He's so funny. Big sets for the big man. So this this is this is the real important part of this training vlog. Woo! Just watching Archer get to work. The lights are on, uh huh. Only problem is that he's the big dong of the gym, so he can just leave his weights wherever he wants, and I can't really move them. They're too heavy for old dad. What are we talking about? It's tough. What's it go? But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about in this video other than sort of. <laughs> come see what Daddy messing with, huh? Yeah, he's ch catch me with that camera. <laughs> other than working on uh, yeah. building just a little bit more strength, this next phase. Wind. Wind. Yeah, the fan makes wind. Talk about That's the fan. right, it does. He's so smart. Dad. It, but it's not on right now. That was down there. Mm hmm. The fan makes wind. I win. Yeah. He's gonna work on the T-bar row a little bit here. You're messing with down there, guy. What you doing? What you messing with? Do a set, Dad. Keep it on that wind. Make sure it don't turn on at some point. Yeah, we have that fan on during the summer time. Boy. Keeps an eye on it. Mm, some T-bar lifts. That's heavy. Mm. That's heavy lifting there, guy. Heavy liftings. Mm. It's not broken. You want me to fix it? <laughs> so, we got a little archer visit that day. Then I just usually finish these uh, these bench workouts with a little bit of incline. I don't usually do incline real heavy, but I'm going to start working on adding a little bit more strength into incline. But yeah, all in all, this is a good chest day. And it sort of helped us progress to a 305 bench press, which well, I had uh, I had a lot more in the tank in 305. It's just uh, Jenny wasn't able to spot me that day, so... Instead of going for 315 or whatever else, I said, all right, let's just end off on a on a good note with 305, and that'll be good. Um, 
Everything, but yeah, everything's going good. It's just like my barbell squat really, really sucks. Barbell squats are like super uncomfortable and wonky on my upper back. And I tried to do some uh, barbell squat workout and ended up like doing like a super, super teeny tiny minor little uh, twinge in my lumbar like muscle. So that really kind of made me upset. <laughs> I was like, God dang it, dude. Every time I try to do barbell squats, I jack something up. But I think it's just a matter of persistence. Just kind of keep doing like, like PT work and get my lower back strong and get my form right. Try to crank my shoulders back and whatnot to get in, in position for a barbell squat. Because I don't really mind not doing barbell squats in general. I, I think the safety squat bar is really fun. But if I'm trying to do this Twitch Rivals thing, I better be able to do at least some kind of barbell squat. But that's the plan for... The next little bit is to keep eating, keep making gains. Like I said, I weigh about 217 right now at 5'11", so that's pretty good. Um, a lot of times in my bulks, I don't usually get a whole lot heavier than like 225, but I think 217 is like a pretty comfortable weight. I'm gaining like maybe a half pound a week right now, and I'm very comfortable with the food I'm eating. Probably eating around like 4,000 a day right now, 4,000 calories, which isn't too bad. That feels very comfortable. I don't feel like bloaty grody or anything with that. Sometimes I don't really feel like eating, but I've always been a pretty good eater, so not a huge problem there. But putting down 4,000 calories a day, getting a half pound a week, trying to get a little stronger in the gym, trying to have some fun, shifting gears from a hypertrophy and kind of a bodybuilding like exercise selection to a little bit more power building style, just incorporating deadlifts back is the main thing. And maybe knocking down the volume on some of the uh, sort of compound lifts instead of doing like a bunch of like bench sets for like 8 to 12. We're definitely going to try to dig into some of those like five the sets of five, sets of four, three, twos, maybe even some singles just to see where we're at and have some fun. So that'll be a, a kind of a cool next phase of our journey. And if you guys like these uh, gym vlogs, definitely make sure you hit them with some love. They don't, I, I really feel like they confuse the algorithm on the main channel. They probably even have a negative impact on the main channel, but I kind of just want to keep posting them because I like doing it. Uh, but of course on the gains channel, we have like everyday training, like the full entire sessions. But uh, I will continue to probably post these vlogs on both the main channel and the gains channel to keep it pumping and to just have some fun putting out content for you guys. But it is time for me to uh, wrap up my morning and get in the gym so we can train on stream at twitch.tv slash which we do every morning, so be sure to follow along on there. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.